In our Family First segment this morning, it is National Stroke Awareness Month, but many are afraid to seek the medical treatment crucial to treating strokes. Yeah, we spoke with a local doctor about another disturbing trend witnessed during the COVID-19 pandemic. Nationally, there was decreased number of uh, advanced imaging studies that were performed. This was down by about 40%. Dr. Takahiga Shimori says roughly 20% of stroke victims avoided the hospital during the pandemic, resulting in other serious health consequences. Not being able to speak, not being able to walk independently. He says medication needs to be administered within hours of the first signs of a stroke. For clot buster medication or TPA, needs to be administered within four and a half hours. The mechanical thrombectomy uh, in some select patients can be treated up to 24 hours. Here's some signs according to the CDC. Numbness or weakness in the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body. Trouble speaking or understanding speech. Trouble seeing, dizziness, or sudden severe headaches. We've had some unusual cases with younger and otherwise healthy patients that present with strokes. And uh, more importantly, uh, severe type of strokes. He says some of those cases were related to COVID infection. And uh, from the studies, we know that the outcomes of COVID related strokes are often worse than stroke without COVID with higher mortality rate. He says, thankfully, now that patients are vaccinated and not as worried about COVID, they're coming in for treatment. We're pretty much back to our baseline uh, caseloads. And the doctor says it is important for you to check on your family members to see if you notice any signs of a stroke. For more information, log on to our website, rochesterfirst.com. Very important information there.